The vast knowledge that trees impart upon me is truly remarkable. It may seem odd or even cliché to some, but to me, trees embody a multitude of virtues that I aspire to in my own life. Whenever I am besieged by stress or anxiety, I venture into the woods to seek out a weathered and sturdy old tree, the kind that stands tall and unyielding, unaffected by the storms and winds that buffeted year after year. These trees have experienced the full gamut of nature's fury, and yet they remain rooted, unbowed and serene. Their struggles against the elements have only made them stronger and more resilient. Their roots have grown deep and unshakable, their bark has thickened and become more robust, and their overall demeanor exudes a stoic calmness. It is true that a tree with shallow roots will succumb to even the slightest breeze, and a tree that has never weathered adversity will always be fragile and frail. For a tree to be healthy, strong and unyielding, it must face and overcome challenges that would seem insurmountable to the uninitiated. Whenever I am confronted by the trials and tribulations of life, I seek solace and inspiration from these magnificent trees. Their unwavering presence reminds me that whatever I am struggling with is temporary, and that I will emerge from the experience stronger and more resilient than ever before. Hello everybody, welcome to the next video on my channel. Um, it is currently the weekend of Easter, so I have a couple days off work. Um, and I wanted to use those days wisely <laughs> in preparing uh, the garden further. Um, as you can see, it started snowing today. Um, so I'm gonna do some stuff outside anyways. Uh, I don't think there is such a thing as bad weather, only bad clothing, so I'm gonna put on some warm uh, clothes and go work outside a little bit. I usually, when I have a couple days off, I also really like to use those for, for um, training, for working out. Uh, currently I am uh, injured a little bit, I injured my shin uh, a couple days ago when I went uh, bouldering with a friend. Bouldering is like a very popular sport in, in Switzerland. It's like uh, indoor rock climbing, I, you could say, without like a safety harness. Um, it's a very fun sport, but if you, I fell down a little bit and I um, snapped my, I hit my shin. Um, so I, ha I promised my fiance to not um, do any kind of uh, sports during my uh, recovery time um, but since I am a uh, person full of energy I, I I need to I really feel like I want to do something I need to move a little bit and get some energy out, out of my system so today uh, I'm going to use the, the free time that I have to be a little bit outside I still have um, a second um, uh, bed that I have to prepare for for planting seeds. Um, I thought that it would be already time to start planting, um, but the weather here had uh, different plants for for me. So um, the uh, plants inside that I pre-raised in the last video are all going very well. I will show you those in a couple of minutes. Um, but without further talking, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, put on a warmer jacket and get to work.
So what I'm doing at the moment is I have two uh, garden beds in this uh, in the garden here that were already here um, from the previous um, yeah, owners, but they were in pretty bad shape. I don't think they really took much joy in gardening, <laughs> so I am currently like ripping out like tiny little roots that are still in there uh, since I want to be able to plant inside of there and if it's full of like little tiny roots and other uh, yeah, small things it is harder for the plants to grow so I'm just cleaning them up getting them ready um, so I can start uh, planting the, the seeds in there pretty soon so yeah that's that's some uh, tedious uh, labor, but I, uh, you know, if if you have uh, something to listen to or or just enjoy uh, the rain in this case or the snow fall, uh, I really enjoy it. So that's what I'm currently doing. I also have to say that I am absolutely not a person that likes to um, not be able to really. Uh, work out or train. I usually uh, work out about five times, five, six times a week ish. I train uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. I try to do that three times a week, that's my goal. And twice I do some uh, cardio or strength training at home. I have some minor like resistance bands and stuff like that at home. And I really don't like um, not being able to do or taking like a week off of uh, working out. At the moment my body is really messed up uh, from uh, training Jiu Jitsu and from bouldering. So I have to like um, yeah, resist the urge to still keep working out. Um, I do some yoga and stretching so like lighter stuff. Um, at home, I think there's something on the lens, by the way. I'm very sorry for that. <laughs> so that is uh, something that I um, that I sometimes like struggle with, not uh, like um, just not doing something super physical. I like to um, tire myself uh, usually if I'm if I'm exhausted. At the end of the day in a good way uh, that's for me that's that's a win and I like progressing um, that's something that I've uh, that's why it's that's the reason why I love um, jiu-jitsu uh, I've not been doing it for super long uh, a little bit more than a year but I've like um, step by step increased the frequency that I train um, because I, I want to keep getting better and improve and learn the new techniques, learn new skills. Uh, it's just a lot of fun. So, but uh, I always have to like keep in mind that uh, taking a week off usually uh, benefits you in the long run. So, uh, not the easiest thing, not the easiest thing for me, but super helpful, I guess. And also, I as I said, I try to fill it with. Uh, good things like yoga or stretching uh, stuff like that but no like nothing that is like super hard on my muscles my joints my um, my body so that's currently uh, something that I that I uh, am doing as you can see the plants are coming uh, great these tall ones here are tomato plants these grew very fast, very rapidly. They already have the first couple uh, regular leaves, which means that they are pretty much ready to be put in bigger pots. So, um, and as you can see here, as an example, there are still some uh, some little ones uh, emerging from from the pots, and uh, yeah, it's going great so far. I already picked out these two here as you can see they already have a lot of roots like coming out of the sides and I uh, think they are ready to get their own pots now.
I'm currently on a walk here in the in the nearby forest that we live. Uh, we pretty much have a forest next to our house, pretty much. And uh, as you can see, it is super like misty, mystical. Uh, it's raining really heavy. It's been raining for the last couple of days, actually. Um, but I love it. <laughs> it. This is something that I absolutely that changed for me since since moving here from more of a uh, city uh, based home in the city i feel like every season or every type of weather is never as beautiful and as nice as um, in the countryside personally i have always liked rain <laughs> actually i feel that it's very calming i i really like the the sounds of rain, I, I like the feeling of rain on uh, when I'm outside. I, I don't, I really don't have a problem with that. Um, but I have to say that it is a big difference if you're outside in the in a forest, as an example, or in your garden, which is uh, well open and and you can like see uh, see the beautiful nature, or if you are surrounded by concrete and loud noises all the time and I think every season is much less beautiful actually uh, at least that's the case for me um, I feel like as an example the best example would be winter we have we have really beautiful winters here in Switzerland actually we have really nice beautiful winters uh, I'm sorry I just got distracted <laughs> there was a squirrel <laughs> on the on the tree back there <laughs> very nice um, we have very nice winters here in Switzerland actually. We have uh, snow 
Uh, we've gotten less snow over the years, unfortunately, but we have some good amount of snow here in Switzerland. And but, but snow and winter in the city is actually not that nice. It's uh, usually very gray, very dirty, also because the snow gets like brown from the from all the cars and I it's not really a thing a beautiful thing and out here the winter that we had here was phenomenal like I I couldn't care less if it was a little bit cold or windy at times but it was just a beautiful thing to look at absolutely and the same is like with uh, when you have like a little bit of mist or you have some rain um, and then when you get sun especially that's a beautiful thing uh, outside of here and you really I really have to like remind myself uh, to appreciate this and not ever grow tired of this or just take it as granted um, because it's it's so nice and I really uh, I really enjoy it um, you know when I go walking here in the forest as you can see like there's there's nobody there's absolutely nobody and that's a big difference to uh, Switzerland is a rather green country actually like um, you have a lot of green greenery also nearby the city that you can access pretty easily however um, there are a lot of people there walking their dogs walking their horses or um, you know going for a walk and I mean that's fine no problem but it is in, for me it's much nicer to be in the in the forest here and to meet maybe one person max when I go for a walk for an hour and not have and just have the time for myself or um, if I go walking with someone and we have a nice good talk we are not constantly distracted or anything we just have the time for ourselves and I appreciate that a lot um, and yeah this this uh, forest here is really really beautiful it is very uh, I would say it's a little bit um, it's very raw I like that it's not like perfectly trimmed a lot of uh, forests in Switzerland are very uh, well taken care of um, and they they cut off like trees that might be might be harmful to other trees so uh, the overall tree population is is growing uh, well etc they this is a thing that you it is very well like manicured <laughs> the 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 forest here in switzerland and um, but this tr forest here it seems like really raw and something that is very nice is that we have a lot of um, like uh, berries growing, wild berries also growing. They're not growing yet, but they will be growing in a couple of weeks, I suppose, or in a couple of months. And then I <laughs> will go out and start collecting some wild berries. I'm very, very uh, looking forward to that. I always love that when I uh, when I go to Scandinavia and I go to to the woods there to pick uh, fresh blueberries there. That is, uh, and uh, lingon berries, uh, stuff like that. That is a thing of beauty. <laughs> They're very delicious, uh, and that's something that we uh, we get a. I hope we get a similar experience here uh, in the in the following months. So yeah. So I uploaded my first video, I think a week ago, and actually already some people have watched it. Uh, which is uh, <laughs> which is uh, mind blowing to me. Uh, I'm really happy about that, and I I really hope that um, the video that you like the video. I hope that you like this video too. Um, I, I just like sharing the this this uh, this lifestyle, this this scenery that we have here, um, and I really. I really enjoy making these videos, so I'm going to keep it up. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. And I hope, I, I hope you have a very nice day. And take care. Stay healthy. Bye-bye.